Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry about the fans. I'm sorry about the darkness in the background. I'm in my room and I'm wearing my Hogwarts witchcraft and wizardry t-shirt. I can't say wizardry. Um, and I just wanted to show you really quick that I got from Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works was having a big sale on their candles. Their three wick candles. Um, I'm going to put all of the prices. Usually I put the prices like right here for you. The prices on the stuff that I buy online, I usually share. Uh, I'll either say with or without shipping in the beginning of the video. Usually I just put the price there. It depends on how they put it in the invoice. Sometimes they add the tax and the shipping into the invoice and sometimes, or the price, They sometimes they just show the price. So I'll let you know. But what I picked up first and foremost was, oh, I love when they give you coupons for the next time. Just makes you want to shop some more. The one thing that I was going for is every, usually every, about every year, we go to Ohio um, to visit cousins. And this year we are we're not, we're not able to go because of Jim's new job. So one of the things we always get when we go there, if you've seen on our channel for a long time, is wallflowers. I refill my wallflowers when I go there. But because we weren't going there, I went ahead and I ordered some wallflowers uh, refills. And I only have five, and five will last me. I thought that was six. Oh, there's only five. That's weird. But the five will last me. I usually burn, one, like, put plug in one every two months or something. Mostly I use them around company. So when company will come, mom smokes, but she also has an uh, allergy to fragrance, uh, to certain fragrances. So we can't really light candles and stuff normally. But when company comes, she understands that that's an exception. Um, so what we did was we picked up some, and what do we have? This one is, I think I got two of these, yes I do. I got two of the Marshmallow Fireside. Let me take it out. So, just to give you a little bit of background, when I was in New York, I first discovered, I, I first discovered the Wallflower. I first discovered Bath and Body Works, came to Oceanside, I guess, the beginning of the turn of the last century. <laughs> in the aughts, I guess they call it, right? And, uh, ever since then I've been in love. Well, they have, a, they used to have a fragrance called Fireside and we have an electric fireplace. And whenever I would turn on the electric fireplace, I would light the Fireside candle and you no longer knew that you had an electric fireplace. Um, but uh, they stopped carrying Fireside in all of their normal fragrances, like things like this, and I'll show you what, I, what I'm talking about in a second. But they did replace it with Marshmallow Fireside. So it has a little bit of a sweeter smoky taste. taste? Don't taste your wallflowers. Don't do it. I don't recommend it. <laughs> but it does have a sweeter, smoky fragrance. Fireside smells just like a burning fire. And this smells like a burning fire, fire with sweet marshmallows. And it's this pretty sort of tan colored liquid. Not that that makes a difference. Um, we used to have many more wallflowers, but when mom became, a, you know, not became, but when we moved in with mom and she's allergic, we basically just kept one that we keep in our bathroom for when company comes. Um, and this one is Autumn. Did I just get one Autumn? I believe I did. Yes, I just got one Autumn. So you can see Autumn there, and it's this beautiful orange color. And again, not that the color makes a difference, but um, I love the way Autumn smells. These are all fragrance repurchases. Basically, um, I, there's one new fragrance for me. I think there's one new fragrance for me, and I'll share that, share that one at the end. And this one is Autumn. I think that says Autumn Leaves, because I'm pretty sure that's what I picked up. Does that say Autumn Leaves, people? It's just hard because it's in gold foil letters. Yeah, and autumn leaves has a wonderful smell. This has a beautiful green color. Um, and that one is really nice. Like the pumpkin one I'll do for Thanksgiving. This one's really nice to plug in now. Um, just that if I had company now, then it would be like perfect. Um, I have one more campfire marshmallow, but the one that I got that was different or new to me, we have never purchased before, is... Yeah, the perfect autumn. So this one I never 
sampled before. So if you've never had wall flowers before, they open opposite. <laughs> well, basically what that means is if, you know, righty, lighty, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey here in the United States, it's the opposite. So you want to, if you want to loosen it, you want to act like you're tightening it. Oh, that is the perfect autumn. Apples, leaves, touch of spice, not really like a lot though. I wonder if it actually, it had a description, it has a description online. And these were on sale. Let's see, the perfect autumn. Fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, and crisp apple. So that's what I smell, yeah. So, um, if you've never used a wallflower before, it's it's a plug-in. So basically you plug it in. They come in these really pretty shapes and colors and stuff. In fact, we used to have ones that lit up. Um, but those those ones we got rid of because we already have night lights in our bathroom. And the one thing that I wanted to share with you, which is kind of why I wanted to do this haul, not just to show you that wallflowers were on sale, but exclusively online in a three-wick candle, exclusively fireside so first of all this jar is gorgeous it's like a dark smoky gray color glass and it has the silver lid the wax is clear it is just the most amazing to me it just reminds it's a masculine scent to me because you get the woods you get like the smoky you get like the oaky tiny bit of musky but not really like musk musk I don't know what I'm saying it just it reminds me of my dad and I'm not gonna start to cry now Isn't that funny dang it <laughs> it's by white barn. it's by white barn and it doesn't just remind me of my dad because my dad did that's what it reminds me of the inside of his cigar boxes when he used to give us cigar boxes to make into jewelry boxes and craft with and stuff. That's what kind of reminds me of. So whatever wood they make, balsa wood maybe. Um, but it absolutely is my favorite. And I basically love to just light it up when I'm lighting the fireplace. Um, I don't do it with mom here though, obviously. And I did buy two of them because I was kind of like, not only they were on sale, but I was kind of afraid like they'll stop carrying it. And I know that that sounds silly. Two three wick candles like this will last me forever because I can't really light them as much as I would like to. Um, and as far as lighting candles are concerned, I've mentioned this before, but I actually have a candle, I don't know where I'm looking. Sorry about that guys. Um, I actually have a candle warmer in my bathroom when I actually can do candles with company. Um, oh, oh, box rips, hold on. Jerry's having a problem there. Um, but I actually have a candle warmer that I got at Walmart and <laughs> oddly enough, um, Michelle on messenger. Hi, Michelle. Michelle got a shout out. She's probably like Fritz Kvitsen over there. Cause every time I like talk to her or something, she's always like Kvitsen. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um, Michelle shared with me that somebody used a candle warmer to like heat cheese dip I think it was I don't remember exactly but I actually said to her I actually bought the candle warmer for my job to keep my coffee hot I I kid you not couldn't think of any other word I didn't want to say I kid you not the coffee warmer that is exactly the candle warmer no joke was twice the price as the candle warmer like the candle warmer was $4.99 when I bought it 15 years ago 20, 21 years ago now. Anyway, I'm old. <laughs> the candle warmer was $4.99. The coffee warmer they wanted $10 bucks for. Literally the same thing. So I would plug the coffee warm the candle warmer up in the top of my desk against the wall. I leave my coffee and my coffee stayed warm all day. Obviously I didn't do that in the summertime. I like my coffee to be cooler in the summertime anyway, so but I have a candle warmer. It's got a rocker switch, basically on not a rocker switch, a dial switch on off switch and you know you can turn it on just when company's coming and then turn it off you know when they're gone and then this way it doesn't really offend mom as much anyway so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this tiny teeny tiny bath and body works haul 
only house stuff. Um, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Hi everybody, welcome back. I thought I would just jump on here and do a really quick haul from what I got from the Fry Life. You guys have seen my t-shirt, but that comes from the, um, like, a factory warehouse. Um, so let me show you what I got. First of all, I'm super impressed that all the things that I got are in this little tiny package. I am. Peter, Mary, you rock. So I got the Overcomer bundle. These are messenger bags, one for me and one for a friend. Um, if you are not familiar, this is <laughs> this is one of their great designs that they have for people who have any kind of challenges that they get through, and it's got their little name on there. And a messenger bag has a really long strap, and it goes like crossbody, which you know is important for me. So I got two in the bundle. I also got a keychain that says "I Choose Joy," just like my T-shirt. Um, but you know that's really important and it says the fry life on the bottom and then I got my Ollie hat I had to I'm official I know you guys are gonna be like you look so good in hats I do I know and then in this little envelope hopefully is my stickers let's see ah, I should have looked first Nope, I got it. I got an Ollie sticker. I mean, it says laugh every day in the fry life too, but you know, let's call a spade a spade. And of course I got the I Choose Joy sticker to match my t-shirt. I think these are going on the car, but I'll have to discuss it with that guy. But I'm sure he'll be okay with it. So that's it everybody, thanks. Thank you Mary, Peter, Mwah. Thank you Ollie, whoop whoop. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I might be wearing two different outfits during this video. It all depends if we get more stuff tomorrow. But here's what I wanted to let you know. We placed, uh, I, I placed my first order from Wish. I've never ordered from Wish before. Jim did one time last year, and he has a couple of times this year, and he kind of like talked me into it. But you guys know how I am about a bargain, <laughs> and it has to truly be a bargain. If it's free, but it costs you $6 to ship it, it costs you $6. That's just the way I look at it. But they, they, I found lots of really cute things. I'm gonna put all the prices right here on this general vicinity. And um, I only have some of the things that I ordered. I'm still waiting on one item. And that's why I said I might be in two different outfits because this video is gonna go up on Saturday in the afternoon. And if this stuff comes Saturday morning, I'll go ahead and add it to the end of this video. But here's what we have so far. Um, first of all, we play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. And one of the things that's a big problem when we play Dungeons and Dragons is when you roll the dice on the table, you get this clickety clankety sound. And when you roll the dice on the tablecloth, you don't really get the smooth rolling roll action that you get. So for just a couple of dollars, and this one I'm not I'm not gonna take out of the package because it's a gift, but just for a couple of dollars we got these rolling mats. What it is is it comes completely flat, so you can put it in your D and D bag or your book bag or wherever you keep your D and D stuff. But what you do is you button up the inside, you snap all the insides, and it makes a cute little tray. The tray is like cardboard that's coated in like a pleather. Um, on the front and back really more like a paper pleather. I don't know how to describe it But what it does is it gives you a nice quiet rolling surface and small and compact So you really can put it in any like if you're playing Sometimes when we play at Lisa's house I actually sit on the couch and I used to roll inside the cover of the box, but not everybody has a box um, Lisa's son has the like the D&D kit that came in a box but not everybody has that and this is much smaller than the box which will make it perfect um, and that's why we picked up one for me Jim got a big octagonal one and then this one is for Lisa's son as a gift um, the one thing that I got was kind of disappointed in so I'll start with that well I really I started with that but um, the one thing that I got that was I mean I'm not I'm not disappointed in it especially for its price point but it doesn't really look like the picture and the descriptions on which aren't always the best but it's still nice for the price it is sort of this like faux lamb's ear and it's plastic 
but you can't really tell, to be honest with you, unless you touch it. But plastic is actually nicer for when you're doing something that's gonna be outside. The nylon sometimes will fray in the wind and then the, the heat and the temperature sometimes can fray the nylon and polyester. So that's why I really like these. Um, again, they just looked like you were gonna get much more, but for the price that they were, it, it's definitely worth it still. I have had the worst time trying to find the lamb's ear at my Walmart. And everybody's going to Walmart and saying, 97 cent, $2, $4 lamb's ear, I can't find any. So I went ahead and picked these up because I don't wanna pay the price at Hobby Lobby, even with 50% off, no offense Hobby Lobby. And then the next four things that I got, one of them is actually a mistake on my part, and I'll share that with you, um, was pillow covers. They're throw pillow covers. And it's so funny because I'm such a symmetrical person. Why did I buy four different patterns? I don't know. But two of them we'll start with first are for really autumn. They're like an 18 inch, not like, they're an 18 inch pillow cover and they are zipped at the bottom. And this is like that really soft, gosh, it's it feels like new microfiber, not like microfiber towels, but like microfiber sheets. But when it's new, it almost feels like baby butt. <laughs> That's not really what it is, but it feels like velvet almost. Um, and it says grateful. And it's got this beautiful wreath that has acorns and <laughs> cotton <laughs> and some hay. And I just thought that was beautiful for autumn and so elegant and just so pretty. And again, the prices will include what it costs with the tax, the shipping. I always do that. This prices with the shipping and the tax. I don't do that always. Let me take that back. Well, yes, when I buy something online, I do it. That wasn't right. You knew I had to get it. Now it is the blue truck, which is fine. I actually this blue. I don't know if you can tell by my walls. It does complement the gray, and I also have this blue in my curtains um, because it's a very neutral blue in my opinion. Um, but it's the blue truck, aka the red truck. And he's got pumpkins in the back and a basket of pumpkins here in that soft sage green that we did. Um, and I just think it's so cute. And again, it's a zippered pillowcase, pillow cover. Um, so you could switch it out from season to season. And when you watch my uh, fall home tour, you'll probably see these. <laughs> so the next two that I got, this one was kind of fun. I bought two that I thought were gonna be super fun. One of them was actually for my niece and hopefully I can get a replacement in time before I get to see my sister. But it had an inappropriate word on it. So I probably wouldn't show it to you anyway, but it just reminded me of her because it was in such an elegant font. So it's to me, that's her. She's like, She's like, she don't care, but she's so pretty, like, you know? So the other one is this one, and it says, stay weird. <laughs> and I kind of thought this was appropriate for me and Jim, but I might gift it. I have a lot of friends and family who are weird and want to stay weird, um, but I love this. This is like a faux burlap, almost like, um, I mean, it's polyester, but it's really pretty. It has that sort of burlap feel, but a soft burlap feel. And it's in this really cute, long, like almost not Ray Dunn inspired, but it's really like an aerial, like narrow type of font. And it's a stay weird. And I just thought that was so cute. And again, it's a, it's a pillow cover. So it's like a zipper bottom. You know, check all your zippers, make sure they work. I think that the quality too, for the price, I think the quality is pretty nice. I think if you wanted to get this at, at, at a department store, it'd probably be a lot more money. And if you don't have throw pillows, pillow forms at Walmart are relatively inexpensive as well. So um, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll look, I'll link pillow, blank pillow forms in the description box down below. I wouldn't suggest getting them though, unless you're always gonna keep this pillow out. It's better to get a color and you could slip it in. This way you can always take it off and have an option. But if you just want a pillow form, you absolutely can do that too. And then this one was so me. It just says magical, dream, believe, wish, joy, hope, inspire, love, beauty, and imagine. So I actually got this to put on the couch in the office where I work every day. Um, when we redid the closet, my hope was that the couch would be cleared off. Actually, I take that back. The couch is cleared off. I put everything into like a low, long, low lying laundry basket that I can like take it's the stuff that I'm using right now it is more difficult for me to get up and get things while I create I like to keep things around me while I create but when I need to uh, 
have a meeting with Jim or whatever, we can easily move that and then it becomes a couch again. So I got this for the couch. And the last one I got, um, I, I'm having a vision issue. <laughs> so I was picking a number 23 and I ended up selecting number 13 because I thought the number 23 said 13. That was my mistake. But if you know, I've bought stuff for Lisa before. Um, this is like a Lisa thing. So it is the cute little trailer, like the vintage trailer. And it has really cute vintage owl lights on the top. Like my parents had set of lights like this. They weren't owls, but they were plastic, like rigid plastic um, tubes and stuff. Um, and this just was so cute. And this was the accident. I, I went to go buy number 23 and I selected number 13 instead. Um, but I just thought it was so cute. Even the little windsock has like little rainbow um, streamers from it. And it even looks like, in my opinion, a plus size camper's chair. That's just my opinion because the width looks way low, way, way wider than it should be. Um, so I got this one on accident, so I'm not gonna return it, I'm just gonna keep it and I'm gonna get, hopefully get the other one. Um, that's everything from, that I received from Wish. Um, Jim, like I said, bought hats, he bought some um, belt clips that hold his phone and work keys and things that he'll need for work, which is great, he can keep them right on his belt. And um, I think I just got the phone covers and the floors. Oh, and I ordered some cotton stems, and if they come tomorrow, you won't even see this. I will just go ahead and remove this and show you the cotton stems. But anyway, that's everything from Wish. Now, really quick, I bought one thing from Amazon, and actually, actually, I bought it on an accident. I was having trouble putting things on the app. I was having trouble putting things in the shopping cart. Now, I should have stopped right there and gone to the app store because when I have problems running my app sometimes, it's because they need to be updated. So I should have stopped right away, and that was the case. iOS is coming out with some more updates, so everybody's trying to keep up. Um, but I was having trouble putting things in my shopping cart, and I accidentally hit the buy it now feature. So, uh, who am I kidding? I was gonna buy it anyway. But if you've watched, if you've ever watched a video on my channel, <laughs> I picked up 12 dinner napkins in black and white buffalo check because I had to. Um, in all fairness, I don't know exactly why. I mean, I wanted them, so I was trying to put them in my shopping cart while I shopped. And I could have canceled it right away, but I was like, you know what, sometimes I like to think that if Fate wanted me to have it. I always say Jesus. Jesus wanted me to have it. But um, they're absolutely beautiful and they're such a beautiful quality. Here is their sewn finished edge. So the little story behind this is that over the weekend we shopped, and by weekend it was actually Tuesday, but it was Jim's weekend. We shopped at um, in Springfield and we were looking for, I was looking for bathroom towels, autumn bathroom towels to layer in my bathroom, like guest towels. And I finally found something that might work at Pier 1. It was $9.99 a towel. $9.99 for one towel. And what it was was a, a, a sackcloth towel, just like these napkins are like cotton, uh, like a cotton, um, like a broadcloth, like a cotton broadcloth. And they were just like that, like a sackcloth is. And it had an embroidered pumpkin, not embroidered, uh, applique pumpkin on it, like a fabric applique pumpkin. It wasn't even like anything so special that it should be $10 a pumpkin. I mean, a, a towel, but it's because they're popular. So when I saw these at this price, I was like, yes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get them. That's why I was trying to put them in the shopping cart, just to try to see if anybody had a better price. Um, and look at this cute little detail. It's, they're wrapped in this rope and it's got, this rope has this cute little button on it, which is super cute. I'm sure you're just supposed to slide it off, but we're going to reuse that. You know that, right? Oh, no, it's got a buttonhole. Stop with the fancy button holder. Stop with the fancy napkin holder. But I wanted to show you one. They put they have cardboard in the top one and cardboard in the bottom one to keep it nice and stiff. But they're such a pretty fabric, and they're such a nice size, and they have such a nice finished edge. 
And again, I will link it. This is not a sponsored vlog. None of this. I don't work for Wish and I don't work for Amazon. There's no affiliate link down there. I'll just shop it for you in case you want to buy it. Um, and that's it. So I got this and I got that. And that's what I ordered most recently from online. Anything else? Nope. That's all. Okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys really enjoyed all this that I got from Wish and Amazon. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested in seeing what I got and where and how and how much. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye.